Hi, Scott here from BuildThat.com. Today we're going to show you how to use a fantastic file transfer program, FTP program, known as FileZilla. And uh, I'm going to show you how to use it. Now basically what I'm going to do here is show you there's an error on my home page. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. I'm going to use a, one of my favorite um, HTML editors to do that. And I already have that set up. So um, I'm just going to close this out and open up uh, WeBuilder 2010. This is a great looking program. I'm just going to make the change here and I'm gonna, the misspelling is N-O. It should be K-N-O-W. So let me quickly make that change. And then we're going to save it. And we're going to look down here and see that it looks right. It's Everything's good to go. So I'm going to close this program out or minimize it. I'm going to open up FileZilla. Give it a second to load. Once this loads, I'm simply going to type in the host name, which is www.buildthat.com. My username, which you, you get from the web hosting company, they'll mail that to you, and you can always change it to. And the password, again, you'll get that information sent to you from the web hosting company, and you can also change that as well. I'm going to hit Quick Connect and I'm connected. Now I'm just going to real quickly give you a little uh, display here. The files on the left are those files that are on my computer referred to as the local files or the local site. And uh, over here you can see the, this is your main area where you can find your, your main files and scroll down. And what I want to find is uh, documents right here. I'm going to scroll down to, now I know we've been using my website, but just to show you for practical purposes, I'm going to show you my actual websites that I use. So I'm going to go to websites, click on that and show you how to open it. So I open it, and these are all my different websites. I'm going to show you buildthat.com. This uh, tutorial series here, this is what I'm using. And as I click on here in the bottom section here you'll see the actual files that I saved and I'm going to transfer my index file over so I'm going to go over to my host site over here on the right and find the same file it's buildthat.com and there's a lot of administrative files in here you're going to ignore most of them but once that's open and down the bottom here I will see the same files that I have over on the left and if I didn't upload them they wouldn't be here yet but I already uploaded them so here we see index HTML on the left and index HTML on the right. And all I'm going to do is uh, transfer the files from the left to the right by dragging them over. And of course I did it pretty quickly. And when I refresh my page we see it's finished. It, it happened and it didn't take long at all. So again I'm just going to click, right, cl left click and drag it over. Let's change a picture. So I'm going to go into my Assets folder, Images. Let's just pick a random image file. And I'm going to reach over here and do the same thing. I'm going to find my Assets folder. And open up my Images folder. And here we see, uh, we'll just do the header, G, uh, a header GIF file. We're going to drag that over, left click, drag it over, and then hit OK. And there you have it. It's, it's uploaded to the server and it's good to go. And that just gives you a real basic tutorial. You can upload all your files this way. I would highly recommend using FileZilla over any other program. This program is great for uploading large files